Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another episode where I review interesting modern fountain pens. Today I have for you this beautiful, beautiful pelican. As uh, you probably can see, it is quite, quite a simple fountain pen. It is a piston filler and I present to you the M151. This is a variant of uh, the famous Pelican M150 uh, and it was sold in this variation in Germany by the chain store Kaufhof as the M151. The same pan was sold in the Italian market as the anniversary model 170 years of pelican and guys let me zoom a little bit on the pan and this is the wonderful wonderful pelican 151 in green black you can see the particularity of this pan is that it has this green barrel and uh, the rest of the elements are in black. It is made of injected plastic. And like I told you, it has a medium size dimension to it. As a comparison, I um, have on my desk a Meister, um, I'm sorry, a Souffron M800 Pelican. And you can see the comparison between the two models and of course I have also some classic Pelican 120 the famous war horses from a school period and you can see them in a comparison with this model in fact when I saw this model I thought to myself well this is a modern reiteration of the famous Pelican 120 and the main difference between them uh, are visible of course this is a cigar shape and this has uh, much more let's say flat although they are not quite flat endings and uh, this has a classic uh, feel to it and this has a mo more modern aspect to it if this has a uh, gold plated steel uh, a nib and it has this ink window a gray ink window and the pelican 120 has um, an interesting interesting nib but also gold plated and it has this interesting green ink window both are piston fillers guys and in general when you find yourself a pelican model that starts with an M it means that it is a piston filler and I have with me other other models this particular model that I will present for uh, you you today it is a model made after 1997 and how do I know that guys well, if I zoom at the ending of the cap, you probably can see that it has the logo with the mother with the one cheek. And this logo is painted or in, uh, painted at the top of the cap. On um, the other model, we have a similar, similar logo. It means that also this was made after 1997. But I also have with me a model pre-1997 when you can see the logo with the mother with the two cheeks. But the logo is engraved as you can see at the top of the cap. And let me zoom once more for you to see that engraving better. So the engraved one in comparison with the painted one pre-1997 guys so returning to our pan it is quite nice 
let us check it out. So this is this is at the let's say lower end at the market, but nevertheless it is a wonderful wonderful pen. I believe that you can find a new one for around 90 or 100 euros. I did not pay this sum of money. You probably know that I collect fountain pens and I always buy them used. I paid for it around 100 lace or the equivalent of 20 euros or 20 American dollars. And it is in this great, great shape. First of all, the gold trimmings are in uh, immaculate shape. And you can notice this ring at the end. And this is uh, the turning knob. You can notice also this ring at the end of the cap and the beautiful, beautiful clip that resembles the peak of a pelican. It is quite, quite gorgeous. And speaking of the ring at the cap, we have some engravings on it. We have pelican. Yes, let me focus on it. So pelican and Germany. Probably on the other models, older models we will see West Germany, but that detail you will see on the models that were made before 1997. The cap on screws, and it reveals this wonderful, wonderful nib. It is a steel nib, gold plated, pelican engraved on it, the logo model with one cheek, and one thing that I love about this German producer is the fact that they stamp the size of the nib. So we have an M nib. At the back a simple plastic feeder. This grip section is interesting and it reminds us of the old grip sections from the 1960s in the sense that it has this slight concave ending which enables you to get a good grip on it when you write. Also, the threads of the cap, they provide a good grip position. And interesting enough, we have the ink window. It is a gray ink window. I prefer the old green ink window that we can see on the 100, uh, on the Pelican 120, but it is what it is, guys. It is just a matter of preference. And let's see now if we have a functioning piston. So I'm turning this knob and you can see it is very, very smooth. And based on what I can see, it never saw the ink. So probably this is an NOS model, never used. And I think I will uh, try to stay with it like it is. So I will just so I will just simply dip this fountain pen when I will do the writing sample at the end of this video. So guys, you saw the dimension. I believe it's not quite a small pen, uh, but uh, you can also post it and you can transform it in quite quite a reasonable size writing instrument. I will leave its dimensions on the screen, guys. And after that, we will do the writing sample. But before I will start doing the writing sample, let me change the angle of the camera, guys. Probably I will prepare uh, some um, paper to write with it. Being a green one, maybe I will find a green ink, but uh, let's see what I can find, probably. We'll see what I can find. So, first of all, let me change the angle of the camera, guys. So, I've managed to change the angle of the camera. Let's take those out of the picture, guys. Let me place them right over here. And we will focus on our Pelican M151. Or uh, the Pelican M115 in green and black. So, I have here my notepad right over here let me zoom out for a little bit so i have here my notepad guys i have here the the pen and i've managed to find a faber castle turquoise not a green one but 
let's say a blue green one it is quite an affordable ink bottle and we will use it to do this uh, writing sample so this is it always shake the little bottle open it like this and guys i've uh, already shown you this is an nos model and probably i will uh, keep it like this for the writing sample it's quite easy i will just dip the pen in ink and this feeder will have the role to store some uh, ink of course when you fill it using the piston this reservoir uh, over here will be filled with ink but not in this case guys so i have here a little tissue to remove the excess of the ink i will just remove the excess of the ink from the grip section like this guys and you probably can see i left some residues on the nib always as a rule to avoid accidents put back the cap on the ink bottle and firmly close it if i will need some uh, ink in the future i will open it so believe believe me guys you can avoid accidents by doing this so probably yes i will need a better source of light and i think i will take this lamp here and let me see if i can put yes i will position the lamp as good as i can over here guys for you to see better yes what i'm writing okay let me put back the ink bottle and what do we have here guys i've uh, i will use this pen posted and probably a little zoom will be in order guys yes like this i'm uh, pleased with it so i have here a pelican pelican m1 five one and this model was produced after after 1997 and it is fitted with an m nib the size of the nib you can see engraved on it so we have a steel nib a steel nib it is gold plated gold plated and the size of the nib is m for a medium nib it uh, doesn't look like it's seen lots of action and um i must tell you it has a little bit of a scratch it's not an annoying scratch but i hope that uh, this is due to the fact that we have an unused nib i will uh, test it so a steel nib gold plated m nib now let me test if we have some flex to this steel nib and as you can see no flex and guys um probably you can see i i need to dip it again in ink i will leave the bottle open like this and let me dip it again in ink okay and i hope that this will be sufficient so no no flex to it um it seems to me like we have a juicy juicy nib and um uh, it's juicy because i've just uh, dipped it in ink but uh, believe me it's quite uh, juicy being a juicy nib it should do the signatures quite quite well and you can see it performs quite nice as doing signatures i think now will be a good time to test if we have some line variance so here no pressure and here i'm starting to apply pressure guys so you probably can see no visible so no line no line variation and um, based on the pressure you put on the nib you can see it writes uh, 
roughly the same. Okay, I'm curious to see if we can reverse right with it. So, reverse writing. And I'm quite pleased. Although it scratches a little bit, it doesn't lose the ink flow. And probably in reverse writing, I believe. Reverse. Hmm. If in normal mode it writes like an M, in reverse it writes like a fine, I think. Although the lines are uh, not so visible. So in reverse writing, uh, and I'm quite pleased that it can reverse write. Okay, let uh, me now tell you about the fox. And for that I will zoom out and I will try to to write as large as I can. So here guys, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And again, that scratchy feeling. Probably some of you out there won't mind this, but I certainly mind it. I like the smooth, smooth nibs. Don't get me wrong, it's uh, not a deal-breaking feature of the nib. And probably it is because it was never used. So uh, this is one of the reasons I uh, advise my friends not to borrow the pens to other people because in general the nib tends to t t t tends to adopt some of your writing specifics so um i try to never borrow my fountain pens i try to i'm not a selfish person but uh, i strongly believe that in time the nib will um, be part of your writing experience and if your writing style has some uh, particularities uh, uh, they, they will be seen also on the nib so i strongly believe that this nib in time will lose that scratchy scratchy feeling let me show you why not because i have a new phone that i'm filming with and it should have a nice nice zoom and I want to show you the tip of the nib. And probably you can see for yourself. I don't believe it's... Uh, so the ties are aligned. I don't see. Or maybe a little bit of misalignment of the ties. Nevertheless, a beautiful, beautiful pelican nib. And guys, this was the review of this wonderful, wonderful pelican 151 m 151 i hope you've uh, enjoyed it and uh, it's not the first review i've reviewed before a, a all black pelican m150 so this is the green version with this barrel and uh, it was sold in germany like the m151 probably i will leave also a picture with other color variation of the model m150 and um, this is it guys i hope you've enjoyed uh, the review of this wonderful wonderful german piston filler i highly recommend it for school use for student use if you can't afford a proper piston with um gold nib so i'm referring to the m uh, the super online m4 uh, 400 m600 m800 or m1000 go for a pen like this and in time you will know that uh, if the brand pelican suits your needs uh, but i highly recommend to every person that is uh, trying to evolve from cartridge fillers to piston fillers just take one of these bad boys and I think you won't regret it. So this was my review of this wonderful, wonderful German affordable piston filler. Tell me what you think about my review. 
please leave me comments and if you are not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel and i also recommend to you you check out my other channel which is called free market vintage finds and uh, you will see a channel dedicated to where I buy those uh, second-hand uh, pieces, those second-hand writing instruments, and also other interesting, interesting vintage finds, vintage treasures that I find on those free market, uh, free markets that I visit. So please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to that uh, other channel to support my activity. I wish you to have a wonderful day, guys. So have a nice day my friends wherever you are i will see you again in the next episode till then bye bye and god bless you all my friends